Hey yo, what up, it's Don. Family here. We are the Soul Brothers. Good to see you guys. Back up in it. Uh, let's hop into a, uh, a Does It Still Basketball real quick. This is a retro basketball shoe. Not crazy retro. Not as retro as, let's say, a Jordan 1. But uh, it's from the year 2000. The year 2000. Really? Yeah. It's from the year 2000. In the, sw in the turn of the millennium, this is what, this is what basketball players were wearing. Okay, this is the Flight Posit 2, aka the Flight Posit KG, Kevin Garnett's shoe, back when Kevin Garnett was, dude, he was doing work back then. He was, yeah. Man, he was, he was like one of the first dudes to be playing like a real skinny uh, dude who was that tall, to have that many different skill sets. Um, to do it like, you know, like he was doing it, 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 it was crazy, man. He came to the league just balling. But uh, this is, uh, the flight posit too. Let's let's hop in on it. Here's the traction. It's herringbone. Uh, just and then in the middle of the of the foot, you know, is nothing. It's kind of decoupled because this isn't really touching the ground much. Uh, and the traction is eh, it's like a seven. Uh, with uh, with a clean cord, you'll get a good bite. It's like an eight, but it gets pretty dusty pretty fast. Uh, real dusty. You have to get uh, a lot of white. A lot of wipes. Lots of wipes. Yeah, I okay. mean, this shit is just dusty, just feeling it. You know what I mean? It just it just holds its dust. Uh -huh. You know. Um, so that, you know that's a little bit disappointing to start with. Uh, and then you know we have this mi uh, carbon fiber midfoot shank. I think it's full length, actually. You can see it coming through under here and under under here too, which is super light, is nice. But carbon fiber is one of the strongest materials known to man. Does it bend? It does not bend, and it does not help with heel to toe transitions. Yep. Which uh, I don't like. I I don't think you don't like that either. I mean, I like a good, a nice heel to toe transition. Just use plastic. Just use plastic or just the foam, or you don't need you know, uh, you don't need carbon fiber. Is basically what I'm saying. They were just flexing back then. And this is that like fucking late 90s carbon fiber. It looks like weird, you know? Yeah. It doesn't look like the newer carbon fiber. But uh, moving on to the cushion or lack thereof, there is a drop in midsole, which, uh, which is kind of cool. Drop in midsole slash insole? Slash insole, it's you weird. know, it, it, this is it. It's very thin. It's not it's something as thick as say like the Kobe 11 or LeBron 11 uh, But it's just a really thin uh, phylon with a tiny zoom unit in the heel Is there one in the, oh, there's yeah. one in the forefoot too. And one in the forefoot um, And you know in your hand it feels nice, right? But on the foot uh, you, can, you can feel it a little bit, but not much. Okay, if you want a ton of response and just a little impact protection, this is perfect for you. You know what I mean? And you feel really low to the ground, great court feel. So that's cool. Uh, but I, I would prefer a little bit more impact protection. Uh, okay, moving on to the upper. This shit is crazy. I mean, this shit is a robot. I think, no, I think the phones are like worse though. Yeah, there's what, definitely what more phones. What came out first? Them. The foams or this shit? I think foams came out first. Oh, really? Yeah, foams were originally for Penny, right? That's how fucking um, old the yeah. phones are, okay. But, so, this is a bunch of posit, okay? It, this is real deal posit, and then in the upper toe area, you have like a synthetic suede. But this feels like different than like the foams. Why does mine feel like fucking like hard plastic? This feels like a little bit softer. It's probably a... a different uh, kind? Yeah, it's probably a better form of posit, really? you know, because this is the flight posit too. So they were like, you know, <laughs> trying to get, trying to do it, trying to work it out. The you fucking know. technology. They dude. put so much money in the flight oh, posit. They're like, wow, damn man, God. we gotta we gotta make this shit not so hard and shiny. Um, and they just went with the matte matte black look uh, in this colorway. Every colorway in this shoe is fire. I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry to tell you, um, but okay, just speaking materials. Um, it sucks. Well, they it's like super premium, obviously, right? It feels crazy nice and just interesting, like feels futuristic. But for basketball, it's just it's just horrible. You know, it's so stiff, um, takes so long to break in, and, and you're never gonna get it broken into the point of like a uh, you know a textile upper 
or a knit or something, you know? But there's a shit ton of support, right? So if you like a ton of support, then, you know, you're a big guy or something. You're a big know, boy. Then this might be good for you. But yep. uh, a little bit much for me, a little too cumbersome. Uh, the heel to toe transition uh, with this materials being so stiff doesn't help that either. One of the worst heel to toe transitions I've had in a long time. It just it literally feels like you're wearing like a cowboy boot. <laughs> you're like, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. <laughs> <laughs> dress like a howdy partner rope in the saloon. Yeah. Um, so so there's that. Um, and this is like a full one booty or inner booty construction, right? You have a full inner booty, no tongue, um, and then it laces up. And then you get the zipper on top. The zipper kind of does come down a little bit, a little uh, so annoying sometimes. It doesn't kind of creep down all the way. But this isn't doing anything other than containing the laces and supplying you with a futuristic look. Uh, breathability is horrendous. Um, now, fit, fit was good. True to size? True to size. Is it wide? It's a little wide, right? Uh, no, it's about normal. Okay. It's about normal for me. Um, it, uh, yeah, the fit, fit was good, nothing to complain about there. Uh, lockdown, heel slippage a little bit, not the best lockdown. Um, and uh, support is really, really good. However, not like the most ankle support, but definitely adequate. And uh, down in the forefoot and stuff, the, the, the support is crazy. Um, aesthetics, these are heaters. You either love these or you hate them. I, they're all right to me. Really? Yeah. Um, I love them. Uh, I used to hate them though. So f for you guys that hate them, I feel you. Uh, they're just kind of crazy looking, but they uh, they look so they're uh, so out there to me that I just I just like them. They look it like looks like a, something from a fucking alien movie. Yeah, or something. no, they look like it should be Iron Man's shoe. Exactly. Like if Iron Man had his whole suit on, that's yeah. what the bottom his foot yeah. would look like. You know, it's like a it's like a stealth fighter. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all matte black and shit. It, so I, I I love it aesthetically. Uh, durability is probably crazy in these. You can play uh, 10 years. 10 years, easy. Uh, That's when it breaks in, by the way, guys. Yeah, for sure. 10 years. Now, we're gonna go ahead and weigh this fucking thing. This shit is gonna be crazy. Size 14, guys. Motherfucking guy. Woo! I think we already weighed it before and it was crazy. 20.8. Fuck, man. 20.8 <laughs> ounces. What, what, how many pounds is. Uh... 16 ounces a pound. Oh, 16 ounces is a pound. Okay, yeah. what, what the so fuck is it? it's over a pound. It's over a pound. Damn. Each shoe is over a pound. Da, 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 damn. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, I do. Uh, so when I'm wearing these, I'm wearing an extra two pounds. Yep. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of um, crazy. And it feels like that. It feels super stiff, super bulky. Um, it, it literally does almost doesn't even feel like it's made for basketball. Nope. So, uh, absolutely horrendous shoe. I hate this shoe. So does it basketball? Yes. It does. It does, you know, obviously, but it doesn't basketball really well. It sucks at basketball. It's it's, uh, it's very bad at basketball, right? It just it didn't stand the test of time exactly at all. So um, if you uh, they, they have not re retro these, which is kind of crazy. They haven't retro these in a long time. I think this retro this is a retro oh, it is? from okay. like oh nine, I think. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they retro these in oh nine. Wow, that's a long time ago. It is. So and they have been. I haven't seen them since. I've been looking for this for a long time. I came up on these on eBay for a steal. Um, so I, I just had to get them. Yep. So. So yeah. there you go. That's the Flight Posit Twos. Kevin Garnett uh, just retired a few weeks ago, right? That's crazy. Yeah. yeah that is crazy. So uh, it's dedicated to KG. Exactly. Thank that's you for all those is. years. So that's it. That's it. Does a basketball? It does not very. Uh, it does not basketball very well. And, but you can uh, get away with it. No, I would not want to play those. Yeah, well, you know, you can get away with it if you really like the looks. But yeah, I, I, I wouldn't suggest it. Like, I, I wouldn't even like, you know, say you're playing a game and you just want to floss a shoe. Like, I wouldn't even pull this out. Even though I would want to wear it visually, but like, I just wouldn't want to play it. Exactly. So that's that. Uh, we will catch you guys in the next video later. Peace.